welcome or welcome back to my channel where the books are spicy and the coffee is icy. Guess what? Spring is here. I'm so excited if you can't see it on my face. Oh my gosh. I... Oh, spring, summer, fall. I do love fall. I am a fall girly through and through, but spring just means summer is right around the corner, which means warm weather and no more winter. I'm super excited. Um, I'm also tan as fuck right now. I have the best, I found this best spray tan ever. And like, I have very minimal makeup on right now. I freaking love self tan art. It just gives me like a whole new energy. Anyway, I know that's not what you guys are here for. We are here with our April TBR, which means it's the first time we get to use the TBR jar. I know, I'm shocked too. Like I'm also gonna have some that are not from the TBR jar because Audible books I don't necessarily have on my TBR. There might be some that I try and draw and see if they're on Audible. I'm gonna continue on where we're going to start and kick things off with our April TBR with the ones that I do know are on Audible. I'm currently in the Bridgerton series. I'm on book two, The Viscount Who Loved Me. This is going to be on our April TBR. Super excited for this one. I'm curious to see how they describe the other characters versus how they are in the TV series because Edwina is not and neither is Kate. An offer from a gentleman. I believe that one is Benedict's book. So we'll see. And then book four is Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. I believe that one is with Penn and Colin. I'm really excited. Those are the only ones that are free with Audible. We'll see. I'm really excited for this series. I didn't think I would be considering it's in third person. Audible makes it so much more enjoyable for me. So I'm really looking forward to finishing this series. So that's another three books. So we're gonna shake it up. I think we're gonna pull three out of here. We're gonna see if I can find them on Audible Plus for free. I literally grabbed like three out. Princes of Prophecy. I don't even know. Let's see. Oh, well we can't do that one. That one's the second book in the series. So that's gonna go back in for now. I ended up grabbing three more. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> if he had been with me series. So I have both the books, which means I have to read both of them. I don't know if that's in focus. Oh my gosh. I have a feeling I'm gonna cry. I've heard those are thought wrenching. Winner's duet. That's like four books right there. Let's go back to Audible because I may use the credit I have this month for this. So we're gonna listen to the sample. The only person within my view I don't recognize is the skinny girl shoving cheese in her mouth over at Betsy's excellent buffet spread. Betsy never skimps. She's provided a generous selection of fresh fruit, sandwiches, and macarons. Macarons, it's macaroons. Another starving artist scavenging on the outskirts. I don't know that I can listen to that audiobook. What about if he had been with me? Still an next door neighbor. Our mothers had been pregnant together that spring and summer long ago. My mother, respectably so, married to our high school sweetheart for over a year with numerous pictures of their wedding. I might be able to do that one on audiobook. I want to see something else. Amazon and see if they're available on Kindle. I don't have the Sinners duet. We may have to make a run to like Barnes and Noble or something. Yeah, it is on KU. I got that going for me. Spanish love deception. Okay, let's see. See that? I need, I need you guys to know that I'm not lying. Spanish love deception. So while that's downloading, we're gonna go back into Audible. I'm completely serious. I bit back another burst of laughter. I didn't believe that, not for a second. The chances of him, I told Rosie, being actually serious are the same chances I have of having Chris Evans pop out of nowhere and confess his undying love for me. Okay, so I think it's downloaded. Ah, let's see how long this is. Because if these aren't very long, oh, 370 pages. That's longer than I thought it was. Okay, oh, that, that could be a problem. So we're going back in the TBR jar for a minute. See, I made a mistake by doing all the series in here. I need standalones. What I should have done was I should have put the book covers. Oh shit. If he had been with me series was the first one to come out. So we are gonna hold on to that. I wanna go grab my book. Hold on. We're gonna go see how many pages are in these. Honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Because they're big words, big spacings. 391 pages for the first book. We gonna have to start today because the second one, if only I had told her, which is apparently from the other view, is also 391 pages. Why do people say the universe makes them feel small, but never 
say that about waterfalls. Probably because they feel waterfalls can be conquered. But no one will ever conquer the universe. I jut out my bottom lip, considering his response. The ocean hasn't been conquered. People... I like reading H.G. Carlton books, though, but that one's a good contender for audiobook. That's a Rebecca Yaros book. This morning, familiar... Oh, the head city Hamilton! Castle's file. My assignment was the 33-year-old deputy chief of staff to Senator Lauren. He had the polished look of a guy who'd gone straight from Harvard Law to I love Teddy Hamilton. The them were coming on what they... I don't know! Oh my god! A Rebecca Yaro's book? Friggin' narrated by Teddy Hamilton? Ugh, let me know. I feel like I need short ones. So the, if I had told her series was the first one that I pulled out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to at least the first book in that series. Magnolia Parks. I kind of want to go to Barnes and Noble and see if they still have the original covers. We're going to read this series. We're going to do the Bridgerton series. I'm going to go see if they have Magnolia Parks. We're going to go to Barnes and Noble, I think, really quick and see if we can find those. PBR jar back where it belongs. Change because I'm still in gym clothes and then head to Barnes and Noble and see if we can find the Magnolia Parks original covers. And if we can, then that's going on our list. I don't know why that is so dark. We're ready to go. We the made it to Barnes and Noble. So I found the newest book, I think. I don't see the other ones. Not here anyway. So we're gonna keep looking. We're losing it. Oh, I could not find the Magnolia Parks ones other than those, but I did find the Sinners duet and it's actually shorter than it was on Kindle. It's only 258 for the first book and the second one is like 260. So I think we're gonna get those because those were two of the original ones that I had pulled. We're gonna do those. We are back. Josh wants to say hi. Hi, handsome. So we're back from Barnes and Noble. We're gonna do a little mini book haul. I ended up getting more. The Sinners oh. duet. Excuse you. We got the Sinners duet. The books are actually shorter than what it says on Kindle. I was like, man, that isn't, they're short. I'll read them on both so that way we can read it faster. But I got both of these. And then these were on the buy one, get one half off. And I've seen these all over TikTok lately. I got these as well. One dark window, cause this may be inverted. I don't think it is cause it's my camera. And then two twisted crows. Just buy one, get one half off. I spent $80 at Barnes and Noble. Now that I think about it, I don't think she gave me half off for these. It's supposed to be one, buy one, get one half off. Maybe it is. Bro, I did not get those buy one, get one half off. I'm very upset. I could not find the original Magnolia Parks either. So I was really, really, really sad. Next three in the Bridgerton series, obviously, if he had been with me, at least the first book in that series, The Sinner's Duet. I'm gonna try and read both of these. What else? One. Oh, King of Sloth comes out April 30th. So I'm hoping, crossing my fingers. I think I have that Saturday off. I'm hoping it comes in because I pre-ordered it on Amazon. So I'm hoping it comes in same day and I can read it in April. But if not, that'll be part of May and that's okay. That is our April TBR. This is a little bit of a chaotic video, I feel like. Just a little bit, but it's okay. We're gonna figure it out. Um, Until next time, you guys. Bye.